Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. Did an order online and I'm getting ready to go pick it up. So let's check out my experience. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Raising money, making friends, seeing the country is Lone Star Rider. We're going shopping. I got an order to pick up. with my daughter Crystal. LOL. <laughs> She's been doing that LOL thing a lot lately. <laughs> Damn, take it off. Oh, I'm gonna stop and get the gloves. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta get the gloves. So you have time to make Oh no, I, was gonna, I didn't even have the door shut. Oh, no. <laughs> take it off. Okay, she went to get gloves, so we're gonna wear gloves. I ordered some stuff from Kroger's, and she's gonna do shopping, so we're gonna do the shopping person and pick up stuff from Kroger's. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, yesterday the uh, president announced that they're extending it, the uh, stay-at-home uh, stuff for another 30 days. Yeah, so be here. Stop for another 30 days. I am so ready for this to get over, and I'm sure y'all are ready to get this over with, too. Um, it's just crazy. Well, anyway, thought I'd show y'all my experience of going to uh, pick up groceries. Glove up. Glove up. Got gloves. Putting on gloves. He's videoing this whole thing. Yeah, I'm videoing our experience. I see. Going mm -hmm. picking up groceries and going shopping. Yeah, this is our uh, second outing to go to the grocery store. We went to Walmart first time. Yeah, this is my third shopping trip in, I think, 19 days. 19 days. I really didn't need the second one, but, you know, snacks are important and essential. That's for sure, especially with the kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, it's definitely high on my list. Wow, this place is packed. Is it really? Oh, it is. Look at that. Jeez. Why is it so packed? I mean, it's not like, it's not like it's tight, but still, like, heck. I'm surprised they ain't got the cars marked off to park every other parking spot. Right? Social distancing. Well, that and you know, keep control of how many people are in and out. So, but what else? So I'm wearing gloves. All right. I'm gonna make shit mess, too, if I have to. Well, they installed these uh, plastic things here. Yeah. What is that, Eddie? Uh, it's a camera. Oh. Oh my God, it's so tiny. I'm it's filming our. I'm filming our experience. Oh. I don't know either. Uh, Whoa, there's a brown shop. Well, there sure is. I ordered two loaves, so. Oh, I know. I'm gonna grab two more. That's a good idea. Looks like you got plenty of fruits going on too. Looks like they got plenty of vegetables. Yeah, I'm to this is the bread I got, or I'm supposed to be getting. So they're pretty stuck on the meat. Yeah, they are. Actually, I look pretty well stocked there. Go check out the uh, toilet papers. Yeah, the toilet paper aisle is pretty much empty. They got paper towels though. Ruffles have ridges. There's paper towels. 
bear, but it's there. I saw the paper towel. Oh, there's some angel stuff. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Helping with the uh, social distance in here. Miss Sophia, now to check on line six four, please. Miss Sophia, on line six four. Wait here, please wait here. Ooh, butter crunch. One of my favorite all time bluebell. I don't like self checkout. I know, because you're a boomer. Boomers don't like that shit. Well, two is they don't pay me and they don't give me a discount. That's why you're a boomer, exactly. That's the boomer mentality. My mentality is I can be controlling everything and already be paying it out instead of messing with people in front of me. Hmm. That's my mentality. Like, I would rather just do it myself, make sure I'm getting the right price. Because when they do it, they go, choo, 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 choo. I don't know if I'm paying what I'm supposed to be paying. When I'm over there, you know. I know. Yeah. That's the boomer mentality. And I'm sticking with it. It really is. Yeah. I asked Mom if I did her now. But don't offend me. She's like, yeah, that's me. And I've done it, but my preference is here. So they got this uh, protection shield here. To be some parking spots over there that are marked as a clickless or a car side pickup, and you'll pull up there. There's going to be a phone number on the side of the building that you can call, and that'll go directly back to that department. And you just tell them, "Here for my order. This is my name." And they'll run it out to you. Got it. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. When you're looking at the front door, it's to the right. It's really not that crowded in here, even though the parking lot seems to be crowded. Not a whole lot of people in here. <laughs> <laughs> Sanitizing. Now we're gonna do my pickup from my order. You would think that we, they would be like Walmart, where it would be like this huge sign: pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up here. Oh, there's pickup signs. You do see them? Right there, pickup location. Uh oh. Okay. There's one on the other side of this car. I see it. Rex Covington, Rex, R-E-X, Covington, C-O-V-I-N-G-T-O-N. Alrighty. It's not one. She called me sweetheart. <laughs> she goes. We're, we're in number one. Well, she didn't ask that yet. Oh, okay. It's Covington, C-O-V-I-N-G-T-O-N. Covington. I'm pretty sure. Let me, I, you want to give you the order number? Yeah. So you're you're at the other Kroger, right down the street. Um, oh. On precinct. On precinct. Yes. No, I made sure it said 26 Highway 26. This isn't Highway 26. This is Boulevard 26. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but there's two. Yeah, there's one down the road there. Hi y'all, how are y'all? Good. Alright, so I see we have a mix up in stores, which is normal. They <laughs> they normally do it. Um what you do is you take a left out of here and go straight toward precinct. So it's the super one. Yeah, yeah. it's the super one on precinct in twenty six. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Right, thank you. Y'all have a good one. You too. Well crud. <laughs> there you go. That's one word I don't bleep out, shit. You bleep words? I don't yeah. I, to say the elf word, I've done that once. You bleep it? I bleep it. Well, it shouldn't matter now because nobody's supposed to be watching my videos 13 or under anyway. That's what that's why I'm like. So it really doesn't like, matter. Whenever I'm listening to podcasts and then they like apologize for the language in like a 911 call or something, I'm like, dude, it's a murder podcast. I yeah. don't expect it to be PG-13, y'all. Yeah. And if you are expecting that and you get offended, then why the hell are you listening? Well, it's true. <laughs> I, whenever 
some podcasts do believe it. I'm like, why are you believing that? Well, you know what I, they're saying anyway. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> and like, I'm not listening to this because I don't want to be offended, and I'm not listening to, to the. I'm listening because I want to hear the raw, real bullshit of it. Like, yeah. I'm not here for it. I probably could just picked everything up in the store and bought it today. Looks like it. Yeah. Pick up location. Dial the number eight. Pick up, pick up the phone. Yeah, this is who? Oh, Mitchell. I thought you said Rachel. I said you don't sound like a Rachel. <laughs> uh, I got an order to pick up. My name's Rex Covington. No, no paper coupons. Number one. That'll be awesome. All right, thanks. I swore he said Rachel. I heard Rachel, too. His name's Mitchell. I heard that, too. <laughs> That's why I turned the radio off so we could hear. <laughs> that was going. Rachel, I'm surprised sound like... you didn't put it on speaker. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> it's going. It identifies as a woman, and that's his woman name. It could be a, what do they call that? A transvestite. Not a transvestite, but a trans man. Yeah, it's a term. I looked it up. Because I was watching, I was watching Lone Star 911, and they have a trans man on there. What's that? When you're born, you have a sex that is designated to you by, you know, your genitals, whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, he did not. Uh, Isn't that what I just said? Maybe he, is, he doesn't identify as a Yeah, man. he doesn't identify, but there's a term for that, trans man. I thought it was a transvestite. <laughs> no. Not anymore? <laughs> no. Not according to uh, Wikipedia and all that stuff. Because I looked it up. I was going, what the heck is a trans man? So if it's a woman, are they a trans woman? Yes. <laughs> I know it's crazy. It's crazy, isn't it? People in there. What did he? What did you tell him about? He said he's gonna come back and load it up. And then that's it. That's it. And I can go back there and after he loads it up and then check the receipt and see if it's all there. I think that's probably a good idea. I don't know. I don't know either. Y'all think it's a good idea? Mm. By the way, Lone Star 911 isn't very good. <laughs> then why are you talking about it? <laughs> because, it, you know, I'm a retired fireman paramedic, and I was wanting to see what they were doing with Texas uh, firefighters and stuff, and, and it's just weird. <laughs> oh, and it has Rob Lowe in there. He's one. Of, he, I like that. I like that actor. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Transgender, that's what I should have been saying. Transgender, yeah. But on the show, he called himself a trans man. And, yeah, and yeah. he And he was dating a woman, and he had to tell her on the show that he was a trans man, and then she did not like that ideal. And <laughs> So, but he still had all his bits and pieces, though, right? That's my understanding. So... She wasn't okay with it that he identified as a woman, but he still had his man parts. I guess. I think that would be a win-win. <laughs> I win -win. totally think that would be a win-win because if you identify as a woman, then I expect you to want to clean and do the dishes and, you know, all those womanly things. But if you still have your bits and pieces, then that's cool. You're also a man, which is maybe what a trans man is. I guess. Trans yes. man. I don't really care what sexual preferences people have. I don't either. More about the fire transgender fire. thing has always confused me anyway, but I'm glad that I don't have any confusion there. Um, I was totally confused. I was going, trans man. No, I mean about my identity. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. <laughs> me too. I was going to say, you're, you're confused? Wait, what? No, no, not about your... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm glad you're not confused. No, because you were like, I'm not confused either. And I, or you were, you said you were confused. And I was like, what? No, I was, I was confused at the beginning huh? of the show about huh? what a trans man was. What? what the heck is a trans man? We've been sitting here since 346. 346. Mm -hmm. And it's now three uh, 353? Yeah. Just want to see how long it takes them. Oh, I, I was going to time it too. I'm glad you're timing it. Yeah, I like this. One. Well, I'm and I a little bit more stuff. I forgot my ID, and mm -hmm. I'm surprised they're not checking because I had a friend in Colorado that ordered from Walmart, and he went there, and they said it was already picked up. Well, I mean, I guess it, unless you know, it's kind of like picking up pharmaceuticals. You can pick up pharmaceuticals for someone else. Yeah, I wonder if that's. Oh no, that's just some lady carrying her groceries. So, you know, like, you don't have to have an ID to go pick up for grandma. Well, that's true. You just have to have her name. So you have to have that knowledge of someone actually having the order right. ready to be able to steal it. Well, somebody figured it out and they got their order. So they Maybe replenished Maybe it was an inside order. job. Might have been. Your person's here. Oh, okay. Well, he's supposed to... Fill it up, and then I've got to go check. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> well, kind of. Pardon? Kind of. <laughs> Mom and or dad and daughter. It's okay. I am going to check the receipt in the stuff, though. Oh, here you go. Thanks. No problem. I'm putting y'all's bread over here by the chips and everything. That's cool. Well, we went, she went shopping, and then I was going to do a pickup over there, and I did the wrong store. Well, we've had a lot of people do that today. They've been at our Glenview location. Yeah, that's where we went. Yeah, they've been stopping at our Glenview location, and they've been calling us about their orders, and we're like, we don't know what y'all are talking about. Well, that's what they said to me. That was the conversation I heard. Okay. Well, appreciate it. Thank you very no much. Y'all have a blessed day. Be safe. All right. So how long did that take? Under 10 minutes. Under 10 minutes? Yep. You just finished and it's not even 3.56 yet. All right. So under 10 minutes. Cool. I would say it took approximately eight minutes. How many items did you order? It was like two bags, three bags? So it was about $55 worth of stuff. So it gives you an idea. Texans. When all this stuff gets out, go check them out. <laughs> so, hey, I'm going to sanitize everything, so just put it on the floor. Okay. And while you're gone, I'm going to sanitize stuff. Well, guys, when we got back, there were some uh, discrepancies on the receipt that wasn't just quite right with my order. So, I called the Kroger's. Oh, back up a little bit. I ordered at the wrong Kroger's in the first place and then went over there to pick picked up that order and when we got back I saw what they did not have in there they didn't have eggs even though the store had eggs and they didn't have the iced tea that I ordered in there so I was kind of disappointed about that but when you order it it says there may be some items that are not available when you go pick it up so that's fine I had three items I had the eggs two cartons of eggs and a box of iced tea and my order on the receipt was more expensive than what I ordered online so that did did not compute so I uh, called up over there to Kroger's and that was just crazy 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 they transferred me transferred me back I was talking to the uh, people that were doing the pickup uh, which is actually a different department and then the guy on the phone says hey I'm gonna have to a manager handle this the manager transferred me over there in the first place <laughs> went back and then I had to retell the story again don't you hate that retell the story again and it wasn't he wasn't quite sure why and uh, he also told me he goes I don't know why you didn't get the eggs we got tons of eggs and I said, come back by he goes, I'll give you the eggs for free, and I'll give you a $5 bill. I said, okay. <laughs> so 
So I went back up there and I got that stuff. I don't know if I'd order this stuff because when I was shopping with my daughter, I could have picked all that stuff up at that time. The only thing is, is I didn't have to throw things in a basket and go wandering around the store to find it, which, you know, is okay. So the, the more I think about it, it was an okay experience. It wasn't great. And would I order again from Kroger's? Maybe. So anyway, that is my experience doing the online with Kroger's uh, here in Fort Worth, Texas. Actually, it's Richland Hills, Texas. Um, the manager did make it right. His name's Brandon. You're awesome, Brandon. What? Y'all guys are not subscribed? Y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. Uh, guys, if you like these kinds of videos, give it a big thumbs up, share. Yeah, share is important. Comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. Hey, and sometimes your granddaughter comes out here and <laughs> here and record it. Say hi. Ooh, I love you too. Oh, the other one's out here too. I have to show her. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah. Beza. Other one's Burrell. Y'all should know Burrell. Say hi. Ah. Hi. Hi. Say catch you on the road. Can you say catch y'all on the road? <laughs> <laughs> say love you. Love you. Do it with your fingers. I love you. You're getting close. Here we go. Right there. Love you. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> Love you. <sighs> That's it. Poke. Poke. That's how it's pronounced. Not pokey. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Squirreling. Seriously, I cannot remember.